Good morning, it's the Anne version of Diane Talk on YouTube, and of course I am Diane for Wednesday, What's Up? So, I've pondered a lot of things lately, and something that resonates with me constantly is what's up with fakery? Why are people so stupid? And I don't have another word to use. So, I don't know if it's stupid, if it's intentional. Why do people have, how do I say, agendas? Are hidden agendas why aren't people just honest about what they want and what they're going after why do people have to make you feel like you're a fool because you believed in them in the first place and why am I saying that because it's happening everywhere I listen to you know a politicians talk on the radio I listen to this I listen to that I listen to people I know from various places that seems to have an agenda that's good for them but maybe not good for everybody else and it's, it's really strange to me that this kind of behavior is not only tolerated, but it's allowed. Uh, and I'm talking more now on the, like, the politicians, like, you know, everybody from, you know, prime ministers to cabinet ministers to people like these conservatives and liberals and NDP, everyone has a vested interest. And I'd be okay with that if it was a truthful vested interest. But when it's a bullshit vested interest, I have no interest in that. And how can I trust you to run the city or the country or the province when I can't trust you to keep your word? And then I, I filter that down to people that I know my day-to-day -day world. And I'm like, this is even worse because this is closer to home. What they do in Ottawa, yeah, does it affect me? It does on a larger scale but not on a day-to-day -day individual scale where I have choices. So I want you to think about that. Make sure you understand that what people do and say, if it affects you, you have a right to have some input into it. So what's up Wednesday? Take charge of your life. Don't trust people who stick you with a knife in the back or who say one thing to your face and something else. Some people have six or seven faces and uh, it's really a shame because none of them are very pretty to look at. Diane from Diane Talk, Real Talk, Real Talk. Keep that in mind and I'll talk to you later.